Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly love reading. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate you. So, uh, this is for the week of May 2nd to May 8th. For all you moms out there, happy Mother's Day. May you have a wonderful week, everyone. Let's get you a romance angel card for Scorpio. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Interestingly enough, when I was uh, shuffling the cards for your reading, uh, flirt came out. So, to me, express your love and flirt, well, one's a little more uh, coquettish, <laughs> you know, not so blatant, but this one says express it. Let's see, Scorpio. Some cards for Scorpio for love for this week. The Hierophant could be dealing with a Taurus. This is also a marriage card for me. The Knight of Wands could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, this also could be uh, you. Well, it is your reading, so I'm wondering if there's a, a fire sign that, you, uh, that you're interested in marriage, and that's why it's saying express your love. So sorry, I, I recently, I had gotten one of those wonderful little round lights everybody uses, and I'm trying to figure out the best place to put it. Oh, that seems to be working. So maybe, Scorpio, this has to do with expressing your love to someone that you are uh, interested in, well, you have some passion for. It seems to be that you have an interest in, uh, in marriage and in uh, passion. Let's see, let's get you some more cards about this, this person that you're expressing your love to. Scorpio, tell us about this person. Five of Wands. So traditionally the Five of Wands is a group of uh, men who are uh, practicing, fighting, whatever they wanna do, but they're learning. And with this one, I find it interesting because it's a man and a woman holding uh, wands up and it looks like they are fighting the dragon for the food so when I ask about this person this is a person who you feel would uh, stick up for you this is someone I feel that um, they would fight the dragon with you I, I don't read it as the traditional five of wands this isn't necessarily someone you would argue with this is someone who has your back, as they say. Let's see, just more cards, Scorpio. The Emperor, okay, could be a grandparent, could have Aries in their chart. Someone who tends to be very traditional. Uh, the Emperor, if you notice, he also, he has uh, the lightning bolts and he has the earth. So he's got a lot of control. And the Ace of Swords. Uh, the Ace of Swords here, the Ace of Swords is traditionally a win in like publishing or writing, communication. And it, it, there's a certain amount of control involved because here she is dancing with her sword and in the background you can see all that turbulent air, but it is not coming where she is. So to me, like I said, this is about someone who, you know, maybe you can have some heated disagreements with this person, but I feel like this is saying that you need to speak up because this person gets you. They would stick up for you. They are marriage material. And to speak, you know, express how you feel would be a win. Bottom of the deck, I can't help myself. I looked at the bottom the King of Pentacles, and that would be like the overall feeling. The overall feeling would be this is someone who you could have uh, a home with. Also could be someone who you might work with, uh, Scorpio. So, best possible outcome for this person that has Aries in their chart. This person who has your back, who you actually think of someone is you might want to marry. You, Scorpio, I'm telling you, transition. This person actually helps you be more 
you. That's a wonderful thing. The best possible outcome is you become more of yourself. Look at how big death is in compared to these people. This to me would be say, and once again, don't laugh. You saw me shuffle the King of Pentacles on the bottom again. I believe this person, you, you know, best possible outcome is they help you feel strong. They ground you. They help you succeed in life in general, not just in love. This is a person who helps you succeed all the way around. I think it's awesome. Let's see here. Let's get you a spellcasting oracle card for Scorpio for love. What does Scorpio need to know? May 2nd to May 8th. Wow, how perfect. Confidence. You see, I think this person gives you confidence. I feel like, you know, they are there. They, they really are there for you. They really build you up. So if you feel this way about somebody, this is someone who you really should say something because I think it's so rare in life that we find someone who sticks with us and supports us so strongly that we feel, we feel 10 times the people around us. That's that confidence that's, that's incredible. So C Melodies, what does Scorpio need to hear? Reflect, peer into the endless ocean and see what peers back. This to me is talking about you looking in and seeing yourself because it's going to reflect you. What do you see with this person versus what do you see without this person? And I think that's what's so important is this person really has a big effect on, on how you feel about yourself. And if someone can make you feel that big, that strong, that confident, how can you not? So if it resonates with you, please let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I wish you the best, Scorpio. Take care. Bye.